snap out of it whenever <clears throat> snap out of oh my glasses are dirty i can feel it i'm not cleaning them <laughs> oh my god solid hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Vinnie McHale. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today is part one of my um, Black Friday shopping haul. It really isn't, this one really isn't specific to Black Friday. We just kind of went out uh, this Black Friday weekend, but it wasn't specifically to Black Friday. Part two are things that I ordered online. Actually, everything is from black owned businesses, but um, that is specific to Black Friday. But whenever those things arrive, I'll do a collective haul and show you guys what I got. This is just, we just happened to go to the mall during Black Friday and this is what I got. Before we get into that, I forgot in the last video I did to say how exciting that I have crossed 4,000 subscribers. Thank you to every single one of you. The last giveaway winner for the 3K, I promise I have not forgotten. Um, it's just been incredibly busy in the holidays and everything, but I will drop it off in the morning. First thing in the morning, I promise. Um, I have it here, back, box up and everything is ready to go. So you should be getting that this week. Please forgive me for not getting it out sooner. Like I said, it's just been incredibly hectic. But um, so the last 3K giveaway winner, um, your items are on the way. And then we are starting um, four giveaways for my 4K subscribers. So how exciting. Um, you guys are amazing. Incredible. I love you. P.O.P. holding it down. Uh, <laughs> what other names do y'all have? P.O.P. holding it down. Tell the truth, shame the devil. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Top tier. Whatever name y'all want to be. I just love and appreciate every single one of you. And I am so excited for the... Excited and grateful for the community that we are building here. Um, So... Without further ado, as promised, I posted a picture in my community tab... Um, and I went to Pandora. Listen, I didn't, wasn't even going for me. I wasn't even sure that we were going, but I kind of thought we were going. My friend texted me and she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm not doing nothing. And she was like, okay, you want to go to the outlet mall? I said, I'm always down to go to the outlet mall. You never have to ask. <laughs> so, um, when I was getting dressed and getting ready, I said, you should probably grab, because she got me a gift card to Pandora because she knew I wanted a Pandora bracelet. And she's like, all in. She knows all the things about Pandora, like all the things. So I was like, if y'all going to the outlet mall, you should probably grab your Pandora gift card just in case you end up going to Pandora. And then I forgot my gift card. And then I looked at this camera and I said, you should probably grab your camera too so you can vlog footage. But I was like, I'm not buying nothing today. I'm not even going for me. I'm just going with her. So, <laughs> needless to say, I did end up making a purchase, and I purchased quite a few things, actually, from a myriad of places. So, we just gonna jump right into the Pandora bracelet, because that is the most exciting. I This is my first Pandora anything. I know nothing about Pandora. I am a beginner, beginner, and it's just a very exciting time. So, I only got a couple of charms, but we just, okay. So, she's here how exciting okay so they gave uh gave me a nice little cute bag with some tissue paper the lady there the lady that i end up seeing the first time if you saw my last vlog um it's actually like the manager i didn't even know that but um she was there but she was getting ready to leave because she had been there since i don't know like five o'clock in the morning we got there probably like three or three thirty so she was getting ready to go but she left us in very capable hands her name was i think katie i have to go and do a review too so that i mention her name and she gets credit and everything but anyway she took incredible care of us so i'll take that out um my friend did take some footage and everything so if um i'll look through it and Maybe post a couple of the um, clips that she took. It was just very exciting and I just wasn't prepared. Okay. Pandora. And then the box here. Ah! So excited. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm trying to get it all together so we can see. Are y'all ready? Can y'all see? Oh, oh no! <laughs> That's what I get for trying to be fancy. Okay. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. Y'all see it? It's so cute, right? Okay. So, I don't even know. I never even put this on. I literally waited to unbox it with you guys. They were like, do you want to wear it home? I said, no. 
I'm gonna unbox it on my YouTube so this is the safety chain or whatever and the last time I talked about it you know I don't know if y'all can see it's like rose gold with little like diamonds on it of course not real but still so pretty and um in the last vlog I talked about how um that I was pretty much gonna get a safety chain and I know some people were saying you don't need one however I know me and I know that I'm clumsy and I'm very very heavy handed so any extra protection when it comes to anything I'm gonna get it because I know myself <laughs> and I know how I can be though the safety chain was probably not a necessity I'm still gonna I still needed to get one so I got that and then I got this I don't even know what these are called yet I don't know the names this little charm here so cute then I got these little lip things hold on I got that which is so cute and then I got this little I forgot what this is called the type of rock or charm or whatever so the only thing that I'm missing that I'm probably gonna get this week is the clip and I guess you put this on to prevent your your um bracelet from like stretching it like keeps everything in place and keeps everything from stretching so I'm gonna get one of those how do you open this to put this on oh lord the lady put it on for me every time so I don't know how to put this on let me watch a video and I'll be right back okay so it's on I don't think I put it on right I'm still learning and understanding what I'm doing um I don't really know but it's on <laughs> and it's so cute we are in the beginning stages clearly but i literally love it i will try to put pictures of the charms that i picked and um maybe take a picture of it how it looks all together but like it is so cute and i love that it's in this like baby stage before it gets like super super full and um actually i'm in love with it like besides the fact that i'm ashy i love it i think i picked a perfect safety chain um i think the colors and these ladies were over there with us um they weren't with us they were just like looking and stuff and i was saying i was like this is i'm a pandora virgin like i've never had a pandora bracelet before never so like, oh yeah girl get that one pick this one them ladies was gonna have me in there broke okay <laughs> like they were like but it matches your nails and i was just like no y'all are trouble but it was so fun i am so i'm so excited i'm happy with my purchase um i love it uh, and I can't wait to fill it up. I'm, I'm going to take my time and like pick charms that I actually really, really love. I'm going to look for sales. I'm going to always look for sales. Um, I'm not in any rush to make it super full. It will get full in its time. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I love it. Like, I have nothing else to say. I absolutely love it. And I like, I am going to enjoy the process of adding charms. Like, I think that's so exciting. Like, this is my first one. I know I'll get more. I know I'll get my bracelets. Like, I'm sure this will be another addiction of mine. But I just am super excited and I love it. And I'm going to try to keep you give you uh keep up with the process with you all as much as possible as I add charms. Um, and this wasn't super expensive. They were having I can't remember which one is which. I don't know which one is which. I was gonna try to give y'all the prices of what was what. But I know the bracelet itself was only $39. It was on sale. Everything, I think, was on sale. So, like I said, it was the outlet. Um, and I think they have the best deal so far. But, um, yeah. So, while we were out there, and I told my friend, I said, I'm literally never going shopping with you ever again. While we were out there, she said she wanted to hit up, you know, the store she wanted to go to and she was like i don't want to go to michael kors and coach i'm like oh, okay that's fine i'm like michael kors actually has not been hitting for me lately so i was like i i can go in there with you no problem and coach i just got my coach back so i'm like i'll be good we don't i'll be fine to go in there with you does that look like i was fine i said i'm never going in there with you so we went in there and so they were having 25% off the whole store and it's already outlet so 20, an extra 25% off everything is cool. Then I went in this section they had a couple things like in the front they were like this is 75% off and you can take another 25% off off 
the additional 75 and so I had seen one purse and I had like fell in love with that right but then I seen another one and I was like oh my god I don't know why I love this so much I don't know I should not have bought this it's so cute oh my god and then now I got my Pandora too look at me look at me look how I look you can see my Pandora through the like it's giving adult it's giving grown it's giving I have my life together and it's a really good size so I guess this lock is actually real it doesn't lock anything but I guess you can use the key to put in here I'm sorry I'm ashy but I normally be ashy when I film because I wash my hands right before and then I just be a mess but I guess you can really it locks and unlocks but it doesn't actually lock anything in the purse but the lock function is actually real but that doesn't matter that's irrelevant because like I said it doesn't do anything okay so yeah this is how it looks so stinking cute and then the inside is actually a really really decent size so um oh it's got a longer a longer thicker strap the handles itself are fine and I feel like I'm gonna only use the handles for now but the strap itself that comes with it um the straps are a good size they're an okay size um, and then the inside is actually very spacious. It's very roomy. Um, like I put my phone in there and my phone is a decent size. You can't even tell it's in there. So this is enough that I can still carry all the things that I find to be essential. Like, you know, some wipes, um, poopery, phone charger, you know, lip gloss, whatever. Like it still has plenty of room for all of those things. So... Um, I, I don't know why I fell in love with this purse the way that I did, but I did. And wait till I tell y'all how much it is. I'm going to tell y'all at the end how much I paid for the two things that I got. But, um, I don't think I'm going to use this in the beginning. I just like this look by itself. I just feel like an adult when I hold that in my hands. You know what I'm saying? I feel like an adult. <laughs> and then she was over there looking at some shoes and I was like, I'm not going to want nothing from here. But then she picked these up and I said, if they have that in my size, I'm going to get it. Y'all, look how cute. Look how freaking cute these shoes are. <sighs> oh my God! These shoes are so freaking cute and they're in my size and I wear a 10 I've been in a size 10 since I was 10 okay I've been in a 10 since for, for forever these are literally like come on I could not pass it up I'm so sorry could not pass it up so those were the two things that I picked up from Michael Kors and there's another purse that I wanted but I'm gonna talk about that in a second I didn't get it because the purse even with the discount that purse was more than the two things that I just bought and I said be responsible but I'm gonna get that purse so anyway the purse was so that Michael Kors purse with the 75% off it was like 124 but then it was an additional 25% off that so I think it came down to $93 they don't have the price by itself on here okay yes they have it when on the email receipt so it came down to $124 but then with the additional 25% off it came down to $93.37 less than $100 for that bag and then the shoes came down to $48.75 but then with the extra 25% off on top of that it came down to $36.56 I paid less than $150 for both of those items you telling me that's not a sale you telling me that's not a deal a steal I couldn't pass it up I'm so sorry I could not pass it up oh so freaking excited like i'm sorry i'm sorry now let me show you i'm gonna put, try to put a picture if i can even find it 
of the purse that stole my heart at the last minute. And I almost got it, but I was like, this is what I told myself. I said, if you get the purse that you want, you can't get the other two. If you get the other two, you can't get the purse. So I said, pick one or the other. And I was like, well, you get more bang for your buck if you get the two items. Because those two items weren't even $140. It was like a little less. The bag that I want, even with the 25% off, I think it came up to like $150. So I was like, okay, you're only going to get one, one or the other. Which one? And I chose to go with the two items. However, this one, oh my gosh, I could probably couldn't even tell you. Y'all, the one that I want, it's not even showing up on the website. It's literally not showing up on the website. All I know is it's like this crossbody bag, but it has two pouches. One for an AirPod, or one like separate cases for an AirPod, and then for something else. But then it was like this cute metallic pink with like this pink trim on it. Oh my God. So freaking cute. I wish I could find it to show y'all a picture. It's not showing up on the website. Um, but which makes me nervous and it makes me feel like I need to go. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to go back and get it. But the fact that I can't even, I don't even see it on the website makes me feel like this is super exclusive and I need to go back and get it, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait until semi annual sale. Cause that's when I go back to the outlet. If it's there, I'm going to get it. If it's not, I just missed out. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, there's a picture of the bag that I'm talking about, but it wasn't, I'm, I'm gonna put it in here. It wasn't brown leather, it's the same design, except for it was pink. And it was like two-tone pink. But I'm gonna, the picture that I found, I'm gonna put that in. But it's not, it's the design, but it's just not that, it wasn't leather, it was pink. But anyway, I've, I've already spent too much time on that. But, so that, I got that. Let's show you this while I'm here. So, I don't know if you know, but Trader Joe's released a new Brazil Nut Trio set. So, I picked that up. It's the Body Butter, Body Mist, and Body Oil. It's in a trio set like this. Um, I don't know if that, how clear that's coming up. The Body Butter is 0.3 ounces. The Mist is 6 full ounces. And the Oil is 2 ounces. And this whole set was only, I think, $12.99. This is a better look at everything. I feel like that was a really good deal. So, you can see it in the palm of my hand. Okay. It smells, ooh, that smells good. It smells exactly like the body butter. This feels a little more, this seems a little more creamy than what I remember of the body butter being. And then I really wanted to see the mist. So that's what that looks like. Let's look at the mist and see what that's hitting on. Ooh, those were good, good sprays. Okay. I like the mist. The mist is good because I know they brought out a body wash this past year. And I didn't like the body wash. Um... Then the last thing is the body oil. And I'm not going to put it on my hands because I have some other stuff I need to smell today. But let's do a little tester here. Okay. The body oil we can do. Now, the thing is, I don't think this body oil locks. Oh, it does. Okay, good. I'm actually very happy with that set. Everything smells good. Everything smells like the original. Um, I'm happy with that. And they also had this new hot cocoa scented whipped body scrub. And I was like, oh, that sounds like it's right up my alley. So we're going to open this together. Because I never could find the one that came that uh, Dove had. That it was only at Target. And the rest of the holiday collection was at Walmart. I'm not on the PR team or the marketing team. So they ain't going to do with me. However... That was dumb. But Trader Joe's said, that's okay. We'll pick up where y'all left off. Oh, it looks so pretty. Okay. Let's see what it's hitting on. Okay. 
Um, it smells like like a chocolate lip balm or like a chocolate some chocolate lip product. Does it smell like hot cocoa when I think of hot cocoa? No. Is it definitely a chocolate body scrub? Yes. I I don't hate it. I think hot cocoa gave me a different expectation. It's not bad though. I do like it. It just feels more like a chocolate lip balm or something. So this feels like a good time for a giveaway. So I'm going to give away the trio set with the hot coat scented body scrub. Um, these two together will be the first giveaway of four for my 4K giveaway. Now, tell the truth from the devil, what I'm probably going to do is take these items out the box because I don't trust shipping it in the box like this. Plus, this box I didn't open. It's just kind of loose. So, I think I'm going to take these items out and wrap them individually and ship them like that. This one is already sealed and wrapped, but I'll still put some bubble wrap on it. So, just disclaimer, if you were expecting to get it in the box like this, I'm probably not going to ship it like that. Just because I don't trust postal service, especially now that it's becoming the holidays and stuff. They're even worse. So, I would rather you get your items all in one rather than... Um, keeping it in the original packaging so if you don't know i do 4k out oh, 4k i do giveaway trivia versus being like subscribe that whole thing so my question is let me think of a question okay so the question is me and my good sis at loso natural we went live earlier this year and we reviewed what two products okay there are two products that me and loso natural we went live we reviewed on camera live initial first thoughts can't lie can't hide nothing because we on live together and we reviewed two products what are those two products if you don't know do not put the answer in the comment section of this video i will make a separate post on my community tab and you put the answer to the question on the community tab again do not put the answer down below on this video put the answer to the giveaway question on the community tab again me and loso natural did a live earlier this year unboxing and reviewing two products what were those two products okay and i think the last thing that i got from Trader Joe's is this gummy bear flavored lip duo and I just thought that was so stinking cute um it's a lip balm butter and an overnight lip mask I wanted to see what it was hitting on so let's see if I can open it real quick so this is what it looks like I just want to see what it smells like to be honest I have on right now the um Laneige lip mask I know it's supposed to be overnight but um I actually really like it so anyway Okay, I'm not going to put it on now. I just want to see what it smells like. It's cute. Nothing to write home about. We'll see how the actual product performs. The smell is okay. Palm Lip Balm Butter. This is like coming out super thick. I don't know if that's going to even show up. Can y'all see how like thick that is? It's like, that is not like an um... And I just said I wasn't going to put it on. It's cute. It smells okay. But that um, balm butter is thick. So we'll see how that does. Okay, so that's what I got from Trader Joe's. I think I'm putting this in upside down. I feel like this video feels chaotic. But that's okay. We got to get back on schedule. So yeah, the Brazil Nut gift, set, gift sets were $12.99. The Lip Mask Duo was $6.99. And the cocoa butter, hot cocoa whip scrubs were $6.99. So not, nothing was actually super expensive, so that's good. So last two couple things that I got. Um, so while we were out in that area, I went to a Marshall's and a TJ Maxx because I'm look I was looking for something, but I went to those two stores out in that area. They didn't have it. I'm not going nowhere else to look for it. I'm not. There's some a new perfume out, but I went to them two stores. It's in a bougier neighborhood. It's further out. I looked. 
they didn't have it i'm not going nowhere else because as you can see i'm about to show you things that's not the perfume that i even went there to get so i'm done <laughs> but i could not pass this up again i didn't even see it my friends thought yeah, her name is Just Pretty Penny on YouTube. We're getting her started on her channel. That's the one that's into the Pandora and all the things. Y'all go ahead and go over there and subscribe. You'll probably hear my voice in a couple of her videos because I'm helping her get started and showing her some things. So she's the one who's the true shopaholic and who found these things and who's into Pandora all the things. Y'all go over there and subscribe as we're getting her channel off the ground. Anyway, she saw this. I didn't even see this. And I said, oh my God. Oh my God. And this is only $12.99. Look at this. The only thing is, I don't think it keeps anything warm. Or I don't think it keeps anything cold. Because it normally will say insulated. And it doesn't say that. It says intended for cold beverages, not hot beverages. So I don't know. The inside kind of does look like it might be. But either way it go, I literally cannot pass this up. Like what? So stinking cute. And I'm telling y'all, if y'all... Are into Hello Kitty like I have been for a, for forever. Y'all know the Hello Kitty has not been in stores like it is now. Like for the past, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 years. Anytime you wanted something Hello Kitty, you had to go online to get it. Like Amazon or a specific place that sold Hello Kitty items. They're having like a resurgence, a rebrand. They're everywhere now. And I, that's why I'm getting so much stuff. Because it's just like, I haven't had this chance. In, especially since I've been an adult. Definitely since I've been an adult, I have not had that access to it in this way. So that's why I'm a little out of control. Then I went in TJ Maxx. Again, I was out there and said, let me check this one and see if they have it. They did not have it. I'm not going nowhere else to look for it. But they did have this. I wasn't even looking for it. This is the Mimic 52 Hair and Body Oil. I remember in the last video, I think I said that uh, I did see on TikTok that they had it. And I was like, I'm not searching for it. And I didn't. I really didn't search for it. I was looking for something else. And then I found this. So I did I did smell the 52 perfume. I actually do like it. So let's see what the body oil is hitting on. I don't smell anything from here. Ooh. It's a good size, though. This is 4 ounces and it's $6.99. I feel like that's a good... It's okay as far as the smell... And I just said I wasn't going to put nothing on my hand because I need to smell some other stuff. Hard-headed. <laughs> uh, I think the perfume smells better than the body oil, but it feels really good. I don't know if you can tell where I just put it on it. But the smell is, is very faint, especially compared to the perfume. The perfume is much stronger. That's really everything that I got. I got this dress from this place called Daily Thread. I haven't even put it on. But um, it's like this. Oh, you know what? I'm going to wear this too. It was just so perfect. I didn't even think about this. I'm going to wear this when I go see the um, Beyonce, um, the film Renaissance. This is the perfect dress. Oh my gosh. I didn't even think about that when I bought this. That's literally Renaissance. Super perfect. With some black tights. I literally killed that. And this was, it says $40, but it wasn't. Because everything was half off. So this was. Oh, it says, this says $39.99. This, this says it's originally $34.99, but then it was half off of that, so it was $17.50. And this is in a 2X. And it's got plenty of stretch. So I actually can't wait to wear this for Renaissance. I don't know if I'm doing it justice showing the whole thing, but... But yeah, so that's that. And this is like so random, but I think... Starting in January, this has been something that I've been wanting to do, and I think I'm just going to do it. Um, I want to, like, completely revamp my clothes, my closet. Not, not, not necessarily my closet, but, like, my clothes. Um, yeah, I just want to kind of update my style. So, I went through this whole phase, and nobody asked for this, so if y'all want to end the video here, that's totally fine. But, um... In college, like my freshman, kind of sophomore year in college, I went through this whole thing where it was like, I realized that I had no idea how to dress. <laughs> and when I came to, like coming to college was like the great equalizer, the great humbler that I dressed like 
a 60 year old church lady <laughs> that's because that's who I grew up around and I have no regrets um I'm not ashamed of it but it just my style was very old I still wore floor length skirts um everything was very it just was very 2000s church lady and so when I uh, came to college and like started going to events, started joining the gospel choir, started going different places. I realized that like I was not dressing like how they dressed, and like when it was time to dress up to go to stuff, how I dressed was very different than how they dressed. So I went through this whole like I don't know identity crisis or like I don't know what it was, but I had to like I took a step back, figured out what it was, and I decided I was like, okay, I'm gonna start dressing better. So my first intro into dressing better, I was like, if I don't know, know how to do nothing else, I know how to wear a pair of heels. So that was my first. I bought these pair of black wedges and I bought a pair of black strappy sandals and I wore them with everything. Did it match? No. <laughs> but I literally would wear it with everything. And so then I just started slowly started evolving and buying more things and elevating my style. And then I feel like... I eventually like had my own style. I would dress up all the time. I looked forward to Sundays to go to church to dress up. I wore heels all the time. Like I was like 100% all the way in. And I felt like I found my style. Or at least I knew. I would, I would not dress up 24-7. But I looked forward to times to dress up. Because I found my style. I enjoyed it. I looked forward to it. It was fun. The whole night. So then, y'all know I always talk about how 2020 was like a very trying time for me and all the things. And it was very emotionally and, you know, all the things. As a result of that, I, a lot of those events and stuff that I would look forward to going to, I just stopped going around those, those people, those places. I just stopped going. And because I stopped going, I stopped dressing up. I stopped going to events, stop having reasons, stop having a reason to get up and get dressed and do things. And so I don't realize that's what happened, but that's what ended up happening. Um, so now like I never hardly dress up unless I'm going to like a wedding or some big event, but which happens maybe once or twice a year now. Um, but somebody, you know how in Facebook, your memories will come up, which I'm never on Facebook, but sometimes your memories will come up on Facebook. And uh, a video of a picture of mine an old memory of mine had came up on Facebook and I was like heels like I was dressed up and I was like I looked at it and I had this revelation I was like I miss doing that like I miss getting dressed I miss dressing up I miss just that whole thing like I abandoned that part of myself in pursuit of healing and like going through the stuff that I needed to go through and I'm not saying I'm completely healed now because we're all, I'm still obviously on a journey, but I miss that part of myself. So I think, I thought I'd have to say, I think at the beginning of the year, maybe in January or February sometime, I'm going to start including content that pertains to like style and getting dressed because that is a part of myself that I have completely abandoned. And it's going to be a journey because I feel like as an almost 30 year old, I don't even know what my style is now. I don't even know how I want to dress. I don't even know how I like to dress. I don't know anything. And so part of it is exciting because I get to discover that all over again. It's nerve wracking because it's just, it's just nerve wracking. Um, the other problem is I have a ton of clothes. I have a lot of clothes, but I feel like I have nothing to wear. And that's a problem. Um, I hate feeling like when I go to get dressed, I have nothing to wear, but when I, like, my room is literally covered in clothes right now. So, um, that long intro was just to say, I think I'm going to start including that type of content, um, starting next year. So, and, so just look forward to that. I think, it's going to be exciting to me. Um, I know the first couple of videos is going to be just me going through clothes and saying, okay, keep this, throw this away, keep this, throw this away. And the mood and the vein that I'm in, I feel like most of the things are going to be given away or thrown away. Because, like, I was looking at some of my clothes the other day and I was like, this stuff isn't even my style anymore. Like, you know, when I was rediscovering and buying on those clothes, I was early 20s. I was on a college campus. I was in a lot of church-related things or blah, 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 whatever. 
my life is different now and so my style is different i'm a little bit older and so i don't know i'm just excited and looking forward to that i was not planning on talking about in this video talking about that in this video however i don't know it's just on my mind so um and also being a plus size girly and like you know that's a whole nother vein um which i am excited to delve into that so yeah sorry for the rant but i'm just kind of excited and looking forward to making that type of content in 2024 um so if y'all want to take that journey with me look forward to that i think the title is going to be called i have a lot of clothes and nothing to wear <laughs> that's going to be the series <laughs> and it will probably literally take the whole year to like properly revamp my style it's gonna be fun though because i already i'm already planning this in my head i think the first video i'm gonna just show a bunch of pictures of like stuff that i used to wear how i would normally wear something like all that type of thing the good thing is though and this is the part that matters even though i'm revamping my style the good thing is i know how to dress because there's a difference some people they don't actually know how to dress so they don't know how to revamp their style because they don't know how to dress good thing is i know how to dress i just i'm lazy so i just haven't had a reason to get dressed so I, even when i come on here i'd be having a t-shirt or something like i don't normally get dressed up even on here but i feel like i'm about to be taking it to the next level like i don't know i feel like i'm about to be next level um have y'all seen the stuff from my photo shoot i feel like i posted the pictures before i did a photo shoot when i first started my channel and I dressed myself and stopped myself for that. So, I don't know. I may put the pictures at the end of this video. I may make y'all wait till next year. I don't know. We'll see what I end up doing. But I've talked literally long enough. This video is going to be forever. And I'm not looking forward to editing, editing it. So, let me hurry up and get off here. I love you all incredibly so much. Again, if you have any questions or anything about the giveaway, you can put them in the description or in the comment section of this video. You know, head over to the after party. Let me know what you think of my purchases. What did you get for Black Friday? Did you even participate in Black Friday? Again, this was not a Black Friday shopping for me. We just happened to go. Um, but the stuff that I got online that I'm waiting to come in the mail, that will be my Black Friday haul or whatever. So yeah, head over to the after party. Let me know what you think. All to the community tabs. Answer the question there. And I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Y'all, how did I forget two whole things that I bought? I just did all that talking. How did I even get there? This is the other thing I got at uh, TJ Maxx right how cute i got this i got two of them at tj maxx see okay i'm done for a while bye <laughs>